dear students let me start the program with a formal welcome let me briefly introduce the resource speaker of the evening dr ejaz ahmed khan sir hod of the ug department of commerce and the hod of mba sir has a total teaching experience exceeding 32 years and research experience of over 14 years he holds a phd degree on the topic dimensions of organizational risk management from bangalore university he has many publications of his research work and has also presented several research papers he had a lead role in syllabus framing for bcom and bba programs and has acted as a member of the board of examiners too he has several more accomplishments to his credit but it's being briefed <clears throat> here as i find him he is very meticulous in the execution of any task assigned to him so i found him the right person to guide you through the options for your academic progression so on behalf of the students of final year bcom and on behalf of the college i welcome you to this session sir thank you very much ma'am in his absence i am also happy to welcome our beloved principal dr b chandrashekhar who is the symbol of positivity in our college sir i welcome you sir i would like to uh, welcome dr prahalla choudhary sir also to this session welcome you choudhary sir uh shalini madam is also present and i welcome her to the session and finally my heartiest welcome to the essence of the program the final year students of the college welcome you all dear students sir the floor is offered to you ajay sir thank you very much madam uh good evening to everyone and uh, my special uh, thanks to uh, madam and uh, dr pala choudhary for giving me this opportunity to speak to you all uh, uh, can you see my screen hello hello am i audible yes sir, yes, sir you are audible uh, can you, you see my audible. screen Yes, yes, sir. sir. You, we can see your screen too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, dear students and student friends. Rather, you are all grown up now, and uh, uh, once you complete your BCom, probably uh, you would be looking for uh, either placements or for you might be looking for either placement or for further higher education. so at this stage few would be having a clarity about what the course they want to pursue ahead and uh, a few would not be having any idea as to what are the options available once you complete your bca uh, keeping that in mind uh, we i have prepared a presentation for you for various options apart from uh, other many options which are available which i have not enlisted in this uh, entire presentation so few of the value added and which would you which these uh, programs would reward you both financially as well as for your uh, uh, position positioning uh, either in the organizations or to start up uh, your own uh, venture or uh, you know entrepreneurship uh, endeavors whatever you think of so let me take you on a tour of uh, this entire uh, uh, It's called as presentation PPTs. So you would be puzzled to uh, apt a program. What program is best suit uh, is going to suit you best uh, once you complete your uh, UG program, either BA or BCom or BA etc. So there are many options uh, available. If you if you don't have any idea about those options, then you will be in a state of uh, uh, you know confusion. or uh, the clarity is 
you will not be uh, able to make out a, a clear decision uh, if you will, uh, lack uh, clarity on what options you can choose for. So then uh, everyone is uh, uh, looking for uh, some kind of growth, either academically or financially or uh, uh, some positions which they are looking for. So therefore, uh, is become enough, is graduation enough to achieve your uh, goals or uh, to reach to your uh, uh, ambitions? So would that be enough? Suppose, uh, say, if you are looking for a better uh, uh, financial positioning or uh, uh, say uh, financial independence and sometimes uh, what we f feel from the academic uh, uh, fields that uh, just graduation would not be enough there is something more which one has to acquire it so uh, what are the options that you have or if you are looking for a job say in Bangalore to lead a comfortable life you all know that a uh, meager amount of uh, salary is not enough uh, you would be knowing that a uh, few of uh, your friends would be working for uh, startups or few of uh, them are uh, working for uh, some kind of uh, part-time jobs or may also some of them have taken a regular job but uh, that job, job would not be paying them enough so that uh, they can meet their uh, different day-to-day -day, uh, financial needs as well as uh, the family needs. So what should be done? Should we stop at become only with uh, you know the skills that are required if one say why or uh, should we look for some more thing something more which would give you a lot of uh, you know financial strength so uh, in that uh, aspect uh, uh, we no one can uh, promise that a great uh, career can be ensured or a great career can be acquired uh, through completing uh, just to become our BBA. So what next? Should you go for MCOM? Should you go for MBA? Should you go for uh, uh, no CA, CMA or uh, CS? What next? So you should have a clear vision. You should have clear vision and uh, a particular uh, decision and also a passion in order to acquire uh, uh, you know, higher education. So knowing <coughs> One second. My screen is disturbing you lot. Okay. Knowing different rules to establish successful career is uh, essential for one to take, make a proper decision as to which program has to be uh, undertaken and pursued. So there are lot of career options which are available after become or BBA. So which uh, uh, you have to choose from, and uh, you should have some idea about what prospects those uh, programs uh, would offer you. So some of them are listed here, the best career options. So you can take up uh, post-graduate post programs. So that could be in the field of uh, teaching or administration or in, in the field of decision making. So what I listed here, if you are looking for teaching program, so another program which you can think of pursuing would be a Bachelor of Education, what popularly called as B.E.D. Uh, you might be knowing that it's a it's a program of two years, and uh, the eligibility uh, to get admission into this program. There are many colleges which are offering uh, uh, B.E.D. courses, both in Bangalore, outside Bangalore, even in the district headquarters, or may also be in at the public levels. So it's a program of two years. So one has to have completed his graduation to pursue this uh, B.E. course and the minimum percentage that we require for seeking admission into this is uh, anywhere between 50 to 55 percent. So 50 with for SAST and uh, others and 55 for the general merit etc. And once you complete this program, this is nothing but a training mm -hmm. for uh, you know becoming a tutor. This program, uh, uh, you know, focuses on training a tutor, uh, training the a person to become a tutor or a teacher. So, what position you can expect out of this once you complete this? Maybe a school teacher, uh, which could be at the primary level, at the middle level, or may also be at the high, higher school level. And nowadays, uh, even for uh, teaching at uh, intermediate, that is uh, uh, pre-university level, that is PUC. Uh, 
the aspirant must have you know secured a, a ba degree or you can also become a private tutor there are a lot of home tuitions which are available there are a lot of online tutors who, who are available in the market and uh, probably you will be getting a lot of uh, uh, ads on your uh, digital digital media or uh, uh, you know on your uh, social network so you can think of becoming even that uh, apart from uh, if you have any other uh, engagement as you are working for a corporate say during day time you you might be working for a corporate and at the evening or at your leisure hours you could engage yourself in uh, uh, tutoring the students who are looking for uh, extra coaching or uh, there is uh, even opportunity of becoming a consultant in the field of education so these are some of the positions which you can hold once you complete uh, Uh, this bachelor of uh, education uh, besides uh, there are other uh, uh, you know uh, job opportunities which are uh, available both in government as well as in the uh, private sector so what uh, financial rewards you can expect uh, once you complete this and uh, acquired uh, uh, you know required skills for this uh, maybe anywhere between 2 uh, and 1/2 lakhs to 5 lakhs or it can be beyond that also there are some schools which are paying uh, I do and some salaries uh, which may range up to 10 lakhs or 12 rupees uh, per annum so if you enter into government services i think uh, 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 they are also getting a handsome salary maybe uh, uh, depending on the uh, length of services uh, it may cross even 12 lakhs per annum so then uh, the second uh, option that you have is to pursue a pg program uh, which could be in the field of commerce since uh, you are uh, uh, pursuing the Uh, become mm-hmm. or bba uh, you can take up this program also this this program is uh, of a uh, two years so uh, this is spread into uh, four semesters almost all universities are offering a, a semester scheme uh, now since uh, uh, you have heard of uh, you know nep uh, nep is yet to start in this program because uh, 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 karnataka is the f- first uh, state among the country to implement nep and there are there is a second batch which is taking uh, uh, admission now so uh, by the time this nep reach up to the uh, masters level that is uh, mcom level it may take another 2 years so till then you would be having a cbcs that is choice based credit system and uh, that is spread into 2 years uh, having a uh, different uh, credits at uh, uh, each uh, uh, you know semester 26 credit 26 credit like that so this is a duration this Uh, has a duration of two years spread into four semesters so that is first year and second year two semesters each uh, you can uh, specialize yourself uh, by making a choice of uh, the specialization groups that are offered in this uh, programs which could be the accounting taxation banking insurance uh, you know finance accounting international business etc many universities are offering apart besides so these are the common uh, few of uh, the specialization uh, uh, groups which which are enlisted here there are other groups also which are offering so that is uh, specific to certain uh, universities suppose say if you take up a program from uh, you know uh, university from other states probably they would be having some other specializations also so who can pursue this who can pursue this a person who has uh, completed graduation in commerce or uh, business administration so they can pursue this uh, mcom and uh, what jobs uh, you get once you complete this maybe uh, like uh, you, you could become a lecturer or assistant professor or uh, a professor uh, you could also venture into uh, you know analysis field like investment analysis or you can head uh, uh, you know uh, the record keeping departments we call it as accounting uh, it could be investment banker uh, you can uh, take up further uh, banking examinations and uh, once you clear that you would also be you know uh, finding uh, a space in the investment banking sector or uh, maybe a business analyst uh, because uh, nowadays analytics uh, play very very important role in decision making process so you could uh, as well become a business analyst analyst if you acquire uh, a few other certificate programs or other training programs which are offered by different institutes 
or may also be uh, uh, you know uh, you can look for creating uh, a bigger space for the manufacturers uh, in terms of uh, marketing so marketing and uh, market analysis etc so what is the suitable career for uh, mcom graduates so he can uh, choose in order to expand uh, his knowledge uh, and also uh, to uh, you know uh, take up a responsible uh, assignment of uh, you know uh, shaping the society as an acad academician he can become a teacher he can become a professor or he can become a, a tutor or uh, uh, may also be a guide mentor etc uh, that is possible uh, if a person has done uh, his uh, mcom the other is uh, banking services there also because uh, uh, banking services lot of uh, uh, you know functionalities of the banking depend on uh, commerce and uh, uh, management since we have acquired lot of uh, uh, in depth knowledge uh, in uh, the field of commerce so that will be of a great help in rendering the services in the field of banking or may also be financial services uh, uh, you can take you can think of uh, taking up the insurance uh, services you can uh, uh, start up start your own uh, you know agency services or uh, like uh, you can also be working like evaluator or uh, a person uh, who is uh, helping out uh, in uh, making the claims of uh, insurance or may also be working as actuaries uh, besides this uh, accounting is a part of it accounting is a part of it therefore uh, you can also think of becoming accountant once you uh, complete this program uh, salary it ranges uh, the minimum the least uh, with a person of uh, you know ordinary knowledge with uh, no extra ordinary traits and skills uh, could get anywhere uh, between 3 to 5 lakhs and uh, it ranges up to 15 lakhs say for example a professor like uh, me and uh, dr parla choudhury madam uh, uh, sudha madhavraj we are getting in terms of you know uh, uh, multiples of lakhs per year so that uh, can be depending on the length of service and uh, uh, the level of expertise what you get in your respective fields so the financial rewards uh, need not be restricted to only the mentioned limits here here these are only a modular which was given it could be much more higher than this then the second uh, uh, master's program what you have uh, before you is again the master of commerce uh, which is specialized in uh, finance and accounting so it's a it's a uh, again two years program and uh, uh, to uh, seek admission into this is you should be a graduate uh, with a uh, prescribed uh, percentage uh, at your graduation graduation level and what positions uh, uh, you can think of or you can look for is you could be a professor you could be a lecturer you can be associate professor you can be assistant professor or you can be a tutor you can be a demonstrator uh, you can again be a in investment analyst or uh, you can take up accounting jobs or uh, uh, look for uh, you know investment uh, banking services uh, business analyst financial analyst etc so the best suited career for this or the jobs which are ideal for this uh, or uh, again uh, in the academic field uh, banking services financial services insurance services accounting services so which could be both in uh, private as well as public sectors salary again as good as uh, mcom which we saw in the previous slides and it can uh, uh, range up to a higher amount also uh, there are people whom uh, i had spoken uh, sometimes ago when I inquired about uh, the packages, a few of them had told me that uh, they are getting uh, 3 lakh rupees per month. 3 lakh rupees means anywhere around 36 lakhs. So again, it depends on the kind of uh, skill set what they have. Then the fourth is uh, Master of Commerce with a specialization in international business. Of course, our college also had it, but uh, for some reasons uh, uh, we have stopped offering this program. There are other colleges in Bangalore as well in the state and uh, in other, pa other parts of the country who are offering a, a specialized uh, Master of Commerce program in international business. Uh, since many businesses are engaged in international business, uh, 
maybe imports and exports or also entering the financial services across the borders so there you will find a lot of uh, scope for uh, employability so this is this is a program of again uh, any other pg program like two years and the eligibility uh, to get into this program is again uh, graduate that is become bba etc uh, what jobs uh, you may get uh, once you pursue this again uh, you could be a lecturer and the international business you can be assistant lecturer or professor uh, you can also uh, you know uh, think of joining as managers in the uh, organizations which are uh, engaged in import and exports that is impact services or you can also become a consultant in impact services because there are a lot of uh, statutory compliances which are required to be uh, fulfilled by importers and exporters you can uh, take up as uh, you know uh, a profession or you can also have your own office and uh, render the services because a lot of documentations are required to be made so uh, for uh, making such documentations since you undergo a training in this program probably that would help you in uh, preparing such documents and helping the uh, business people who are engaged into the import and export services and there are a lot of licenses also which are required to be acquired by uh, the businesses uh, you can uh, facilitate uh, you know uh, securing licenses for the businesses by means of charging some certain your professional fee so that could also be uh, some some opportunity what you have if you undergo this program again the more you acquire the more knowledge you acquire in this the more practice you do here so your uh, income level grow accordingly so your uh, minimum uh, earnings annually would be around uh, 8 to 10 lakhs rupees uh, if you have good clientele and uh, if you are uh, rendering services for uh, small time and medium time uh, business people so they would also be giving you your consultation fee so that will be a further addition to your uh, earnings over a period of time so the, the other one is master of business administration what you call as mba program uh, this is a program of two years uh, any graduate any graduate can uh, uh, seek admission into this there is no need that he, he should be from commerce he can be from engineering he can be from commerce he can be from arts or he can be from humanities or he can also be from science background or he can also be a professional background like engineering or uh, medicine so any person can so there is no uh, restriction on this anyone can uh, take up this program so provided he should be a graduate so as far as uh, the specializations are concerned in uh, mba there are a number of specializations which are available so depending on the university or the uh, institute which is offering uh, this program uh, for example in our college we have uh, at present offering uh, uh, we are offering around uh, three specializations and uh, if the number and the students are interested in uh, uh, taking up one more specialization that is also possible uh, we can offer uh, which are prescribed by bcu bangalore city university since we are affiliated to bangalore city university uh, the specializations uh, which are offered by bangalore city university those specializations we can extend to our students so what positions uh, you can look for once you complete your uh, uh, mba program you can be a lecturer for uh, uh, management programs you can also be a uh, assistant professor or professor or uh, Uh, associate professor both at uh, intermediate level that is a poc uh, graduation level that is bcom or uh, any degree level or may also be at the post graduation level so that is at the university centers uh, you can as well become a finance manager so that is another uh, uh, opportunity that is available you could be a hr specialist working for a corporate world you could also be a marketing manager Uh, uh you know uh, who would uh, always think about how the manage can be exp- uh, the market can be expanded and uh, which would help in a better earnings for uh, uh, you know uh, corporates or uh, even uh, uh, middle business houses uh, then uh, you can also uh, take up the uh, charge of operations of uh, uh, the enterprises 
Uh, you can also be a systems manager. This is another uh, uh, possibility. There is one more uh, scope what you have because nowadays uh, you know uh, you see that supply chain management is uh, crucial. So therefore, uh, you can engage yourself into uh, logistic uh, services, or you can also start think of starting your own logistic uh, services or businesses, or make up. Or if you are taking up a job, you can take up in a, a logistic uh, sector, uh, which could be both uh, surface logistic or water logistic, or may uh, also be space logistic. That is. Uh, uh, airline services uh, you can take up, uh, uh, then uh, road line services, there are a number of road line services which are available, uh, you, uh, you would be coming across because we are located in the centre of uh, or on the heart of the city and uh, many roads connect to our uh, uh, junction, there are so many buses which are playing, so those are the logistic services which are uh, uh, offered by uh, this uh, tour operator or uh, you know, transport service uh, service providers or uh, you can also take up a uh, job because there are some of uh, the specializations which are offering uh, you know international business or impacts uh, business so it is imported and export services so that also there is another space or uh, opportunity what you have uh, you can venture into where yeah, the salary is uh, maybe from 3 lakhs those who pursued uh, MBA from our college, the least uh, uh, you know, financial package what they got is 4 lakhs rupees per year. They are the freshers. They are the freshers with uh, zero experience, with uh, I think a limited knowledge. So if they are able to earn uh, uh, 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs rupees to start with in the initial years of their service, uh, maybe in a, for a one year or two years. So uh, as uh, they acquire uh, uh, more length of service probably uh, the financial rewards also uh, go up accordingly so if any person or a person has uh, done his MBA from assume that uh, from IIM Indian Institute of Management or uh, some other uh, reputed institutes of the country their package would be in terms of uh, you know uh, sometimes uh, crores also so again that depends on uh, the uh, uh, kinds of uh, skills that they acquire, they possess, our students possess and uh, uh, knowledge and the ability to deliver but what is expected from here. Oh, so the MBA, pro MBA programs uh, are the students uh, who have completed MBA, they look for or their uh, you know uh, jobs are offered by corporate worlds like uh, TCS. Accenture, uh, Ernest and Ames, Infosys Limited, HD, HDFC Bank, ICIC Bank, Wipro, Infosys, Genbank, UFC, RSBI, there are so many banking sectors, so many uh, corporate uh, sectors which are uh, taking uh, this kind of. So if, if, say for example, if a student has uh, pursued uh, a uh, engineering, so engineering once he take up, so, uh, assignment in a corporate probably he would be paid uh, lesser as compared to a postgraduate in uh, math, uh, business administration so uh, to just uh, quote to you so one one of uh, uh, known persons to me whom i spoke to on the other day uh, she was placed uh, in a uh, you know package of uh, uh, 24 lakhs rupees per, per year uh, basically engineer and uh, pursued uh, uh, MBA also, so based on MBA, so two different uh, student, uh, you know, batchmates. One is just uh, engineer, the other one is uh, engineering with MBA. So both were classmates. One is paid 18 lakhs, the other one is paid 24 lakhs. So that is there is a gap of uh, six lakhs. So that means something uh, it's a extra oh, level no, 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 and that person is offered now. The very same person who, uh, whom I spoke to, 24 lakhs, now is, uh, she has been placed in uh, uh, you know, Eastern countries, that is uh, Australia, and uh, she is being offered now uh, 60 lakhs. You think just 24 lakhs to 60 lakhs, suddenly at, at least a two and a half times jump. So this is possible, this is possible. Uh, again, remember, it all depends on what kind of uh, skills you have acquired. So one more, uh, so these are about uh, uh, you know post graduation program and there are uh, professional programs also which are available to you 
which uh, you can think of uh, taking up once you complete your uh, uh, become or BBA. Uh, this is uh, 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 the most uh, what is called as a uh, lucrative one is chartered accountancy. This has a duration of uh, three to five years, and you would take even ten years also. Uh, but now there is a restriction which you cannot extend uh, beyond certain uh, uh, number of years within which you have to complete. So generally, uh, who, the students who are smart, they do it in uh, their first attempt itself. Uh, let me tell you about uh, this uh, Chartered Accountancy program. One of my students who, who had uh, uh, completed his uh, Chartered Accountancy few years back had come to me uh, because uh, I, I was teaching to him in uh, uh, Bicom. Uh, in some other place, not in Bangalore, and uh, he happened to be from a financially sound uh, uh, family. There were two brothers. One, the elder brother was also my student, and the second brother was also my student. So he did his uh, become uh, when I was working in that place, and he skewed uh, around 85% at that time. Uh, he asked me what what uh, to take up next, whether to, to stop at a become, and because they had business. Uh, and to you know uh, venture into business and uh, end the academic uh, line i said no you, you can think of pursuing the ca he did a ca and when i got transferred to bangalore he came to me with uh, one kg of sweets and he offered me that he got uh, sixth rank in uh, karnataka so i was very happy then he asked me what next can i do i suggested him you take up uh, cpa so i later on i was told that he completed his cpa now he is uh, placed as uh, uh, you know uh, India Pacific region head, finance head for a particular uh, corporate, and he is drawing nearly about uh, 2.5 crores per year. So the, such kind of uh, huge financial rewards are possible. So again, what kind of clients you have, or what kind of uh, services you take? So chartered accountancy is one of uh, such programs. So generally you need uh, three years minimum to complete this program. So you can, you could have started uh, when you completed uh, uh, your BUC. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are not taken up, now also you can take up graduation. If you are done it uh, at the PUC level, then CPT common proficiency test should have been taken. That is what you call as foundation coaching. Even our college is also offering, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, foundation program for uh, CA students. We have a separate section for that. You all know that. Uh, those who are uh, who have completed this graduation, they can directly uh, get into IPCC and CA finals. So there is uh, one uh, compulsory or mandatory requirement. That mandatory requirement is you need to have uh, or you need to have taken up a training as internship with uh, any FCA, that is a fellow chartered accountant. Uh, for about uh, 2.5 years or two and a half years and you should have certified that you have completed it. So once you complete it, you are eligible to take the final exam and once you clear, okay fine, you will be called as uh, ACA, that is uh, uh, Associate Chartered Accountant for a period of five years. Well, if you start practicing and have registered uh, on uh, uh, ICAI and you have become a member over there uh, and if you are practicing, then after few years, say five years later you will become FCA. So like that you can uh, hold a lot of positions. So if you complete a CA, I think most of you know about this. What positions? You can be auditor. You can be an independent auditor. You can have your own uh, audit firm. Uh, you can have a client base. Uh, again, it depends on you what kind of clients uh, you get. If the clients are good, your revenue earnings will also be uh, better. Uh, you can also become a taxation expert, say GFT, that is indirect taxes or uh, excise duty still it is there uh, on few products so you can take up that or even uh, income tax etc uh, you can also become a finance uh, consulting corporate auditor or uh, ceo so you can take up uh, jobs so these uh, jobs in the corporate world and uh, you can be a chief executive officer in the field of finance or uh, you know internal auditor because a lot of uh, uh, big corporates are appointing and there are few uh, uh, corporates also which are which are believing in having their own uh, internal auditors 
so there are a lot of openings for that uh, you can uh, if you uh, secure this degree so job uh, uh, opportunities are many you can become bank auditor you can become statutory auditor because every corp uh, registered company should get their get their accounts audited annually so we call it as a statutory auditor you can take up that or uh, you can also become a tax consultant because there are a number of people who look for uh, tax advisory services uh, they approach you uh, if you are practicing uh, you are you know charging certain fee you can give render services to them or you can also have your own uh, ca firm that is chartered accountancy firm uh, so these are some of the uh, uh, opportunities what you have to either start up your own or uh, get into the services the salary package is only something your model one is given 9 lakhs 9 lakhs uh, need not be a uh, bad amount to for a starter or for a fresher uh, depending on service depending on uh, his abilities and capabilities uh, and, uh, and the depth of knowledge uh, the earning could be there are few chartered accountants in bangalore who are earning the crores of rupees so who are the employers uh, who are point for almost all corporate world uh, bigger companies bigger companies who turnover is say 50 uh, crores or 100 crores and above they are all appointing the chartered accountants uh, ey there is some of the in kpmg deloitte mckinsey uh, grand tonkum or uh, kpmg consulting pwc the price world Uh, HDFC, ICIC Bank, Vitro, Reliance, Birla, ACC, PepsiCo, Airtel, uh, and, uh, uh, there are many other companies, say Suzuki, etc. Many uh, multinational companies are also appointing chartered accountants. Am I audible to you? Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, ah, uh, uh, I can't make it. Okay, no. Hello. Yeah, sir. Sir, why do can't make it? Sir, sir. Why is can't make it? Sir. Now is it okay? Yeah, sir. Ah, uh, sir. So, in the professional programs, one more you have is company secretary. this is uh, uh, you can acquire this uh, uh, professional program or uh, uh, course certificate in a duration of 3 uh, years so 3 years plus training if you know some of your friends who have done very well at uh, uh, second pc sajaf dam to register for this or if you are interested you can also take up so the to get into this program is either pc with 50% and above or graduation so there are different stages of uh, examinations uh, which are conducted in order to become a certified uh, you know company secretary so one is foundation program uh, then there is executive program and professional program so you have different groups of uh, papers in all these uh, uh, levels so those who papers who are required to qualify then you will be called as company secretary what are the areas uh, where you can practice or you can start uh, uh, your professional services as company sir, uh, secretary one is uh, uh, in the matters which are connected with the legal compliances because companies are required to fulfill certain legal obligations or legal uh, or statutory requirements so in those areas you can practice or you can also take up a secretarial and corporate governance uh, uh, assignments corporate uh, restructuring uh, uh, functions uh, you know there are uh, collaborations which are happening both uh, at the national as well as uh, uh, international level so which could be foreign collaborations or uh, joint ventures then arbitration services where there are disputes which are happening between the companies or disputes on the transactions 
or disputes uh, between the financial institutions and the corporates and there are that such kind of disputes have to be resolved for arbitration so the arbitration services or conciliation services can also be taken up financial management uh, assignment is another uh, uh, area where it can be placed in uh, project planning capital markets and investor relations etc are few of the areas where uh, you can think of uh, practicing or taking up the assignment you could be independent practitioner or you could also be a uh, you could also be an employee of a corporate so the salary uh, starting would be if you are a fresher a minimum i think in my opinion it is 1 lakh plus it cannot be 6 lakhs per annum it is 12 lakhs per annum and above or you can practice independently i think uh, size the limit depending on the services and the type of clientele what you have one more professional program which you can uh, think of taking up is cfa certified financial analyst so it has a duration of 2.2 and a half years and uh, graduates can uh, take up this and there are three levels of examinations which happen we call it as a three tier examination so what is the scope of this uh, cfa is it required it is recognized only in india now this is a globally recognized uh, program if you are uh, happy with working here uh, within the country find take up the job now you are looking for any overseas assignments you will find uh, opportunities even even overseas so who is offering this cfa institute that is certified financial analyst institute virginia usa and uh, there is an office at uh, mumbai uh, you can google you get lot of uh, you know addresses where you can contact and also you can go get more details about this program so what kind of knowledge you would be possessing if you uh, you know uh, pursue this program what is a uh, advanced so financial analysis uh, you can be a statistician you can uh, also uh, acquire expertise uh, in economics because uh, every business uh, activity need to keep the principles of economics uh, in mind uh, you can be an expert in uh, probability theory corporate finance security analysis uh, fixed income uh, uh, you know options which are available then derivatives alternative investment portfolio management etc so these are some of uh, uh, the fields uh, apart from other fields uh, which would provide you uh, to provide your uh, expertise services what will be the package you will be getting or uh, earnings you could make uh, out of this is uh, 10 lakhs plus 10 lakhs plus per year and it could be uh, much more higher again depending on what kind of uh, services you take up Uh, if you are looking for a job, the employers are J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, uh, UBS, BlackRock, Morgan Stanley, Royal Bank of Canada, and almost all banks. Almost all, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, that is uh, international banks, that is global banks. They look for uh, CFA, and even the, our national banks are also uh, have created the positions for CFAs. so in a professional program which you can think of is certified management accountant cma uh, of course our college also has a foundation uh, program for uh, cma which uh, dr choudhury uh, you know thought of and he started uh, uh, before he could uh, before he got transferred from this college so duration is 2 uh, years okay uh, puc through foundation course can uh, uh, register for this uh, program so that's what our uh, bcom uh, and uh, ca foundation course what we have a section the students uh, got uh, enrolled for that okay uh, then do the second level is inter and the final level and the third level is final three levels for intermediate students and for graduates it is two level examination and also one should acquire and uh, one should have work for Two years. So this is the minimum requirement for uh, getting certification as uh, certified or management accountant. <coughs> so this CMA program or CMA professional uh, degree is uh, globally recognized. 
as a professional degree uh, with uh, various designations uh, uh, you would be appointed uh, in the companies and who offers this where you can register institute of craft and management accountants of india so there you can kolkata based one or ima usa is also uh, offering this program apart from other countries i think uss is a highly valuable and a highly rated one uh, if you have the possibilities of pursuing this uh, from uh, overseas you can think of from us so what kind of expertise uh, you get once you complete uh, this program is uh, you could be a financial planner uh, you could also be good at analysis uh, you can uh, devise uh, certain control mechanisms or uh, you know also develop uh, decision making supports uh, and uh, uh, you know practice uh, some professional ethics uh, which are uh, very much required and uh, uh, which are essential for uh, the corporate governments of corporates the financial package would be uh, between 10 lakhs and uh, above the starting will be 10 lakhs and above this is a uh, slightly uh, 6 lakhs is only for a person who is a fresher who does not know anything about uh, you know uh, what services uh, he is expected out of so once he get uh, experienced his uh, package would also be higher one more uh, professional program is us certified public accountant cpa there are many countries which are offering cpa but uh, the highly valued is us one so how much time you require to pursue this uh, anywhere between 2 years to 4 years or you can do it in one single year also this it's possible but you have to be extraordinarily brilliant so what is the eligibility to get into this program is bcom plus mcom or any post graduate that is mba or uh, it can also be ca there are as a, as i said one of my students who had pursued is ca and he is paid a crore plus package and heading uh, india pacific region so many cs in india they are pursuing they have pursued this program and there are uh, a number of cs who are also pursuing this program so the basic requirement is you should have uh, studied accounting and you should have uh, secured minimum of 150 credits in accounting so this is the basic uh, uh, eligibility requirement for uh, uh, getting admission into this program so what is the scope of this you can be a practicing accountant anywhere in the world if you pursue ca here in india there are few countries which are which are not recognized as ca as equivalent to their uh, uh, local degrees but cpa cpa is is much more uh, highly recognized than your ca program uh, i think uh, once you pursue this uh, the scope for your services is the entire world if not just india who offers american institute of certified public accountants uh, even uh, there are other countries also which are offering australia is also offering uh, if you are very particular and uh, meticulous about taking up this program my suggestion to you if you are financially okay because there is certain uh, uh, financial uh, Uh, implication in this you need some money so google it you get all of details if you have if the possibility of pursuing this my suggestion if you are a serious student please take up this please take up this you can see the whole of the world so what expertise you get is you will be responsible for preparing financial statement audits and uh, attestation services because you need to certify certain uh, uh, reports which you only can certify no other person can so therefore those services also you get and uh, those certifications uh, are the indicators of financial health of the organization so it's a more responsible job uh, and at the same time there is a, a liability also which is vested with Uh, uh, this position so if any wrong certification is done 
there are severe uh, punishments uh, which are provided in the law so uh, meaning uh, the certification need to be very very serious so therefore those who are seriously looking for this you know for growth both in terms of position as well as uh, financial independence if you have flexibility at your uh, uh, family level to pursue this program there are even banks which are offering the uh, educational loan to pursue this program you can approach the banks and uh, try to get registered for this program so your salary package will be it's only an indicative which is uh, mentioned here 9 lakhs rather it will be in terms of uh, you know 40 50 lakhs this per year one more professional program is financial risk management manager we call it as uh, frm so you can uh, pursue this program uh, in a year's time uh, uh, to pursue this program, uh, you need to be a graduate and uh, preferably in a commerce graduate. So two uh, levels exam happens. One is part one and part two and also uh, it requires uh, two years of work experience. So that means uh, as soon as you pursue, uh, it would be difficult to get into uh, or uh, getting registration for this. If you better work for two years, acquire certain experience in the field of uh, finance and then get registered for this so the, all these uh, you know, programs which uh, we are discussing here need not be registered immediately in the next year suppose if you have difficulties financial difficulties you can postpone it for some time okay uh, start earning and uh, secure yourself and uh, if you are capable of paying the you know financial uh, uh, paying the fee and other things uh, uh, then you think of pursuing these programs. Our suggestion to is since you are in a study mood, a study mode now, so once you complete this uh, graduation, if you continue your further education, that would become easy. So earning and later doing this uh, may not be uh, that ideal, what I feel is, uh, because uh, the rhythm of learning, uh, it may get deteriorated over a period of time. So financial risk manager uh, is a service which is recognized in banking and finance sector. So who offers this? G GORP is offering that is Global Association of Risk Professionals. Uh, it's offering I think uh, uh, you can register, you can get uh, more information on the web. Uh, what kind of uh, knowledge you acquire in this is identification and analyzing the various threats which the company assets uh, uh, counter with uh, earning capacity of the company, success in the market, uh, uh, the financial stability of the company, etc. Then uh, FRMs uh, can also, that is financial risk manager can also work in the field of sales, private banking, loan origination, uh, credit and recredit uh, services, market uh, risks, uh, trading, etc marketing and financial services so all these the area where uh, you find a lot of scope and there is a requirement of uh, these professionals and uh, this will reward you uh, between 10 to 30 lakhs rupees so another uh, equivalent to your uh, ca program is ACCA. that is associate chartered accountant uh, chartered certificate accountant so this is being offered by association of uk uh, you need not to travel to uk but uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, study centers here in uh, india in bangalore as well in uh, many areas you can google you will get a lot of uh, uh, inputs on this uh, you can think of uh, taking up this this is equivalent to chartered accountancy uh, it's a program of two years as we have seen in uh, Chartered Accountancy, inter, final and uh, 2.5 years of uh, uh, you know, internship. So compared to that here, it is very less. Uh, if you are putting so much of effort as you put in case of CA, I think you can complete even this program also. Duration is uh, 2 years and 10 plus 2 with maths or accounts. 
can enter into this or a graduate can also enter into this the exam is conducted at uh, different levels so 1 to 9 level uh, that is we call it as a fundamental level there are various papers uh, which are prescribed even uh, if you are studying the sum of those papers here uh, in at your graduation level and those uh, 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 comply with the level of learning of these papers of ACCA you may get exemption for that and uh, another five exams are there at the professional level altogether there are 14 levels of exams that happen so all that can be completed in two years and this uh, ACCA is recognized in over 173 countries of the world and there is a huge demand for these professionals in the MNCs the salary what you get if you there are there are so many institutes in Bangalore if you go to Baswangudi uh, there is in Gandhi Bazaar there is one institute you can see so many students have been registered and also they are conducting classes there uh, in the bus, uh, there is in uh, Gandhi Bazaar and they may also be there in uh, Rajaji Nagar there are so many centers in Bangalore which uh, you can contact and uh, get further more details uh, in this regard salary what do you expect out of this if you are if you are take up a uh, job in immenses maybe anywhere around 20 lakhs and above one more professional program is business accounting and taxational professional so this is a training program in fact uh, uh, that gives a lot of uh, uh, knowledge about uh, business uh, accounting and taxation and this uh, training could uh, range between three months to one year so one has to be a graduate in commerce in order to become this professional that is bad professional uh, who is offering this there are many many institutes which are offering here both in Bangalore as well as in other parts of the country uh, if you are here you can take a photograph of this you can visit to their website and get to know more information about this. Edu Pristine, uh, National Institute of Financial Markets, Indian School of Technology and Management, St. Joseph College of Commerce, uh, University of Madras, etc. So in Bangalore, uh, St. Joseph of School of Commerce and also the other institutes are offering this program. Uh, you can register there and pursue this. What is the knowledge you are going to gain and what will be your domain area expertise is the financial reporting using ERP software that is enterprise resource planning software which could be uh, you know SAP etc. Then uh, direct taxation, payroll and all its components, accounting software, SAP module, vendor and customer management, delivery and uh, invoice management liquidity management, cash and credit management, Excel uh, and MIS reporting, GFT uh, reports, GFT compliances, GFT uh, information systems. So on all these areas uh, you get expertise uh, if you pursue this uh, taxation uh, certification program. So what jobs you get here is analyst or senior associate, account executive, accounts manager, senior manager, uh, who is a specialist in taxation. So these are the, some of the things which we have uh, spoken about uh, uh, various uh, uh, higher level uh, academics which are available to you or degrees that are available to you which you can think of uh, pursuing the uh, further higher education. Uh, then uh, how to get into these uh, courses uh, uh, knowing about that is also is very essential in order to uh, you know decide about say I focus here uh, uh, on the programs that are available in our college uh, because there are many many programs which are available which you can get uh, Google you get lot of uh, uh, inputs or information on the admission process and all uh, which you can uh, search on your own or else uh, if you contact any, any of our uh, faculty members they would also be of great help to you. So as far as MBA program is concerned, uh, 
this is a worldwide recognized program in uh, our opinion and in my personal opinion if you are looking for mba okay you are serious and good at hard work and uh, good at smart work good at, uh, at your uh, uh, you know uh, analytical uh, critical etc skills i think uh, you should pursue it from indian institutes of management there are 20 institutes across the country any institute if possible bangalore is blessed with uh, indian institute of management on banarghat road so there you can think of getting admission into see uh, you got admission in uh, government arts college for degree either you walk walk down to the college or some of uh, your friends would have accompanied you they advised guided you to come over here and uh, you applied for you got the seat that is not the case in case of indian institute of management there is a way of uh, uh, you know applying for then taking up certain examinations clearing door examinations uh, then uh, appearing for interviews and also participating in a group discussions so there is a process that is involved so through that process if you are taking up uh, this admission because uh, you know you get ranks different uh, uh, ranking you get or scores you get depending on those scores you can take up admissions in any of uh, the 20 uh, indian institutes of management across the country of the country so indian institutes of management are considered to be one of the finest uh, uh, institutes both at the country as well as uh, at, at the world level uh, top institute is india institute of management ahmedabad and the second ranking is uh, bangalore i'll show you the ranking at present uh, uh, i don't have the exact uh, statistics of that anyway uh, it was uh, the ranking of sometimes bad so this is uh, spread across uh, uh, the country in 20 different locations okay uh, the number of seats are i think uh, 4000 now they have been revised it's 4400 or 4000 roughly about 4500 uh, post graduate programs in management uh, so as we call it is mba there are yeah, very few call it as mba otherwise they call it as a post graduate programs in mba Uh, besides this there are other uh, courses also which are offering by this uh, indian institute of management so in all there are about uh, 12000 plus seats so which means 12000 plus students can be accommodated and they can learn they can pursue their uh, further education in indian institute of management so to get admission into indian institute of management you have to take up a common admission test we call it as a cat common admission test suppose say if you are interested in pursuing law which i am not included here uh, there is a clat common law admission test is there uh, bangalore also has one of uh, the premier uh, institutes that is uh, uh, national law school uh, there in very near to our uh, bangalore uh, university ranabarte campus so here mba cat examination you have to think and how many students appear roughly about 5 lakhs or may also be this varies 5 6 7 lakhs like uh, out of that only 12000 students get shortlisted and they say they get the admission all others will be will have to reappear for uh, uh, next attempt so there are three levels of uh, tests that are held while uh, seeking the admission for uh, mba program So at stage one, you have to take up, a, a, you know, CAT examination. That is common admission test that will be held across the country on a assigned day, which will be notified uh, in all leading uh, newspapers and also on their website. Uh, then at the stage two, there is uh, personal interview or uh, group discussions, and uh, stage three is. Uh, the uh, final selection of the students based on the scores that are being there so if you take up uh, uh, if you look at the type of uh, questions what you get here the paper question paper is uh, divided into uh, three parts 
One is a quantitative analysis. You would have around 26 questions and uh, which you need to solve in just 40 minutes time. So that means roughly uh, in one and a half minute you have to arrive at answer. Uh, then uh, uh, verbal uh, abilities and uh, uh, you know uh, it's, it's connected with the literature rather reading comprehensions we call it as VARC okay uh, that is about uh, 26 questions so this was uh, the specified question pattern in the last examination which happened uh, 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 the last year and the result was declared in uh, January 40 uh, minutes again assigned then direct uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, data interpretation uh, and uh, uh, LR. So this is another 24 questions are there. Uh, 40 minutes. This is about 120 minutes uh, examination. That is two hours time would be given to you. So all that are uh, something like uh, multiple choice questions uh, with a negative marking. Uh, you can take up uh, this test. Uh, you can also try, try it. I suggest all of you to take up this examination, try it and do it seriously, whether you get selection or not, but you get a practice for this. So the final selections are based on certain parameters that may differ, differ from uh, one IIM to another. So different marks are assigned based on a composite uh, CAT score, post academic performance, work experience, and performance in uh, uh, written test or GD or personal interviews, PI is personal interviews. Based on these final scores, selections are made and seats will be allotted across the 20 Indian Institutes of Management. So where this uh, MBS can be uh, pursued uh, across uh, various uh, locations in uh, uh, India, so I have listed here the rankings and all. Uh, the ranking of uh, IAMs, as I said, uh, IAM, the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad is number one. Second is Kolkata. C is Kolkata. Uh, it's rather called as Kolkata. Okay. Third is IIMB, that is Bangalore, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. Fourth is Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow, Indian Institute of Management, Koi Code. Uh, Indian Institute of uh, Management of uh, Indore, then IAMS, Shillong, IAMR, Raipur, then IAMU, Udaipur, Rajasthan, IAMT, that is Trichy, Tamil Nadu, IIM, Raipur, uh, uh, Rotak, Raipur, Rotak, okay, uh, then uh, Kashiganj, Nagpur, N is Nagpur, uh, V is, uh, I forgot, uh, V is Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, AM is Amritsar, Amritsar also has one, BJ is Bodhgaya, Bihar, it has one, uh, SR is Srinagar, uh, IAM SB is Sambalpur, and uh, J is Jammu. So these are the 20 IAMs which are spread across the length and breadth of the country. So what is the fee structure here? You can see Bangalore. This is a uh, uh, last year's fee structure. I think that this has been revised now. So please uh, visit their website and uh, get to know about what is this uh, uh, fee structure. Bangalore, Ahmedabad and Kolkata, all these three places, IIM, A, IIM, B, IIM, C, roughly about 25 lakhs, uh, Koi Kod, that is uh, Kerala and Lucknow UP is 19 lakhs annual fee, Udaipur, Rajasthan is 17.6 lakh, I think it has been revised, maybe slightly higher by another a lakh plus, Chhattisgarh, Raipur, Vishakha, Patnam, 
uh, is 10 lakhs, Rota Haryana is 15 lakhs, Sambalpur Odisha is 13 lakhs, uh, Tirchi Tamil Nadu is 12 lakhs, Ranchi Jharkhand is uh, uh, 15 lakhs, okay, Sirmaur Himachal Pradesh is 11 lakhs, Bodh Gaya Bihar uh, is uh, 11 lakhs, Jammu uh, 13.8 likewise you can see so many here so this is ranging between 25 lakhs to 10 lakhs so depending on the uh, type of uh, uh, the facilities whatever they have in the ranking it just uh, yes sir a slide so more of taila first slide a lay there you know move more than a little but, ah, ha, ha. Nothing is safe. Sir, Sir, you can screen and the screen sharing and revise the screen. Cancel and the screen share. Oh, sir, I have a first slide. I have a madam. I have once again, what are you Sir, you are Bento. This is okay. I will start again. Sir, don't forget to screen share, sir. Cancel it. Did you get it? Yes, the first sheet is there, sir. First drill is there. Sir, there's multiple screens open, sir. Is it open? No, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you share tab and share screen. Sir, share all. Sir, it's open. Sir, it's open. Change it. Want high jobs, sir? Correct, sir. Correct, correct. ಇಷ್ಟೊತ್ತು very very important. Allah would have done. One very brief moment, sir. Better, sir. Ah, Martin. If you have slides, sir, it's a little bit of 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 a little ಬರುತ್ತೆ Ah, sir, you are full screen today. You are screwed, madam. Okay. Either one would either okay. Sir, either okay. Pai, you stood to edit the yellow new screens. A consular in Mali, Matel. Okay, beard, beard, and third day, beard, the lily details they do. Nano, I do PPT share. Sir, you do part in there. 
YouTube ಗೂ ಹಾಕಣ ಸರಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಪಿಪಿಟಿ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಂತರ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್